When did you start to lose your eyesight? From birth, actually. I was premature. And um, I had a complaint called retinopathy of prematurity. Um, and that it means there's too much oxygen in the incubator. Um, and that sort of, if you like, messed my eyes up initially. I mean, I, I used to go to, if you like, a normal school. Um, I used to do n normal things with all my friends locally. But then, like, things started to change, obviously. And it, it, it deteriorated. Um, I say that's when I went to rehab centre. And from there, I got a job locally in the local authority. What do you do for work? At the moment, I'm unemployed. Um, but previously, I used to work for a company which used to manufacture materials for hand soap, sanitizer, and it was predominantly dis for disabled people. But it's unfortunate I got made redundant. I was there for about seven years. Um, before that, I was worked for local authority for 35 years. I couldn't do all of the job, if I'm honest. I could do sort of 80% of the work. And some of the tasks included machinery, like making jigs and that for, for, for people, blind people and stuff, to put parts in. And I couldn't do that part because of my sight. Um, I could organise, supervise and all that sort of thing. Um, but I couldn't do that side of it. And every time I went downstairs and said, look, could you help me, you know, make this or do that or that? And they just said, well, you get paid the same as me, you do it. What was the most enjoyable part of your job? So I, I used to do the orders for, for the pick and pack. So we used to get the invoices down from upstairs and I used to read what the customer wanted, put the orders together, you know, and then send them off. And I used to love it. I, and I, especially Christmas time, it was so busy. What could have been in place to make you more included? I obviously progressed again from your organisation, you know, um, and become like a materials controller and did all the stock control and all that sort of thing. Um, and I realised then that I was um, able to access help from the government through access to work, in which they, um, they can provide a support worker. So to not, not do your job, just to assist with your job. What could have been in place culturally or structurally within that business? I think the general manager should have come down harder and said, look, you know, come on, you know, give the man a chance. You know, if it was your son, for example, and they were disabled, you know, what would you do? You, you'll be like proud of him. You want him to go on, be successful because they were just jealous because they didn't think I was worthy of the job, basically. Uh, and that's what it all came down to. Why were you and your colleagues made redundant at your previous workplace? It was a charity originally. And then um, obviously they were losing money, hands over fist. And it, then, then another uh, organisation bought it. And this thing started to change. Um, it got to a point where we wasn't getting paid regular. Um, I and other colleagues weren't getting the furlough money. Um, we still haven't got our redundancy money um, from that particular company. You know, the downside is you know, a lot of people lost their job, um, predominantly disabled people, again. Um, you know, and they, pro they probably will never work again. What could be done to help your previous disabled colleagues find employment elsewhere? These days you've got like technology, you know, which is great. You've got access to work, which is a government funded scheme, which can help. You know, employers just need to give us a chance, you know, to prove ourselves. We may need, you know, reasonable adjustments, but you can get help with that. You know, you need to be a bit more patient, a bit more tolerant with us, you know. It'd be good if employers could just, you know, take that chance on us. What's your favourite thing to do in your spare time? I, I, I love walking, actually. Um, I do enjoy walking, uh, which relaxes me. Um, I like socialising. Um, I've got some nice friends and family which I socialise with. Are you comfortable with the term disability or do you use another term? No, it's fine, disability. It's, it covers all angles. 
Has living with your disability taught you anything that you wouldn't otherwise have learned? It's taught me to appreciate things more, I suppose. It took a time because, you know, losing my sight at an early age, um, it took time to adjust, obviously, to, to, to certain things. I said, oh, I've been lucky. But when, the people I've met in my life is, you know, especially from the disability side of it, I'm, I'm very fortunate, really. Are there any stereotypes about your disability that you'd like to change? And people tend to ask your friends, you know, or say someone else rather than you. Like I've had experience from that, you know, recently, where someone said, you know, can I speak to your, your friend? And you're thinking, well, why don't you speak to me? You know, I'm human, you know, I'm not going to bite. You know, you're not going to catch the, you know, the blindness. You know, then I'll get people that don't believe I'm blind. You know, as well, people think I'm, I'm, I'm the trainer. I'm not the owner of the dog. Uh, and I had a previous experience a few weeks ago when someone said to me, are you the trainer? I said, no. And they said, are you but I said, you can say blind, you know. What can others do to make society more inclusive and accessible? It's got better, if I'm honest. I mean, there's things around, like, especially in London, where you've got uh, audio on, on, on the trains, on the buses. That makes a huge difference. That's the main thing, really, just getting information, you know, like... Um, audio uh, information, so it helps us when, when we're getting around more than anything. It is difficult, but to be more aware, get people more aware. Uh, companies could run more disability awareness courses, perhaps to, to, you know, get them to understand the situation more, get us maybe to do more, I don't know, speaking or go some, you know, like to, to talk to different companies about disability, how we get on what we do, how we cope, you know, and we are, you know, we are like everybody else. Or we, you know, we just can't see as well, that's all.